This show was brought to you by Turbo the High Level Squirrel, Dharma Wheelies, Crispy 808, MST3 Clay, Fancy Pants, Anonymous, Parkman, Phone Losers of America, It's Leon Motherfucker, Ben Jammin, Despicable Dogs, Electro Pirate, Big Boy Farts 666, and Jesus Penis. Thanks to everyone for supporting the show. You can find out more at immoralhole.com. You can find our archives at travelswithmiriam.com. You can find our live show on Fridays at 10 p.m. Eastern at immoraljuice.com. You can find our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash madhouse militia. You can find out how to contribute to the show via other methods by visiting immoralhole.com forward slash show forward slash contribute. Are you sure you didn't bathe the phone and gum? Or an arm massage in the salt chamber due to many spam calls mm-hmm. per day and known Excuse callers me? are silenced. Yeah. If you wish to have a call back, please leave a message. God bless you. Go. At the tone. Please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. I do not consent to your terms. Let us call. Uh, yeah. Now, we have the Gamutra treatment. That's the uh, the bathing in the salty urine. And uh, I know my skin looks great. I just wanted to tell you. Um, I don't want to book another appointment. Can you call me back? Thanks. Bye. I saw hello. maybe they just... That's the only uh, I could describe. Hello? Uh, I'm interested in the chickens. They're very I'm musky. Sorry. You have the chickens for sale? Yes. All right, how much do you want for them, dear? Um, I was asking $10 a head. Oh, uh, you've taken their heads off already? Uh, no, sir. Oh, I've got a bunch here. Can you hear them? Yeah. They're my pets. Are you ha- have you named them anything? Uh, these ones, no. All right. And they're laying the eggs already? Not yet. They should be within the next month or two. All right. And what kind of condition is their cloaca in? I'm sorry? A cloaca? I'm not sure. Have you properly gaped the cloaca? I have not. 
All right. Can I get them for eight dollars a head then? Hello. 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 Are you selling the house? Yes. Oh, okay. Are you the owner, the original owner? Yes. Okay. Is it? What is it like? Uh, well, is... what do you want to know about it? <laughs> Be more. Oh, okay. How many bedrooms? It's how many bathrooms? A uh, bath and a half, all ceramic tile throughout the house. A new three times central heat and air. Yes. The you whole got tile house. in the bedroom. Yes. My goodness. Did you have problems with spilling? Is that why you did it? No. Uh, in Oklahoma, we have a bad problem with stickers. Stickers? So, what the hell is that? Uh, thorns. So, I thorns. in in my uh, original house, I have all ceramic tile, and I had leftover, and so I tiled it, too. Okay, you got a basement in this house? No. Oh, is it, it is it on blocks or what is it? It's a ceramic, uh, I mean not ceramic, uh, cement flooring. Oh, that that's a good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. Wait, I thought you said it was tile. Now it's cement. It's a cement foundation. Are you trying to give me the double top? No, 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 oh, no. Oh, you mean the foundation, you build, the foundation. Yes, the foundation is cement. The Wait, you flooring, was about to tell me when you build a house. I want to know, because I don't know. I'm stupid. How do you build a house? <laughs> you build a house? Uh, I'm not a builder. I couldn't tell you exactly. <laughs> All I could tell you is what they oh, look like on. afterwards. <laughs> it has a cement floor, a three-ton Central heat and air uh -huh. unit, uh, mm -hmm. new uh, lighting throughout mm -hmm. the house. In the hallway, it's got a built-in night light, and in one of the bedrooms is a built-in night light. You double flip the switch, Whoa. and it changes from uh, regular light. So to why are you waiting? This sounds like this sounds like one good house. Why are you getting rid of it? Uh, I own a house already, and I had this oh. house. I bought it for my son, and they were always late on their payments, and one thing led to another, oh. and I took it back. And then I, I remodeled no it. You got that one. <laughs> but my other son, how, how far helped. behind? It's oh, you totally got a, you got a good off. son and a bad son. Uh huh. Okay. It's totally paid off. Uh, detached garage, large backyard. It's all right. sitting on how one much, acre of land. How much? How much? How much? One hundred and thirty thousand. How much is it? One hundred and thirty thousand. All right, I'm moving tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I can meet you there tomorrow. See, I live in California. You can't find a bucket to piss in for one hundred and thirty thousand dollars. No. <laughs> totally remodeled with uh, a three ton central heat and air unit, detached garage. I mean, I this think uh, the, yeah. the kitchen cabinet doors are, are butcher block, new countertops, but they are not butcher block. A new electric cook stove, a dishwasher. So could you fire up your camera machine? Yeah, could you My fire God. up the camera machine and give us? Yeah, the camera machine and give us that three hundred and sixty virtual tour you was talking about. Ah, uh, not tonight. Oh, okay. It's, it's uh, too dark to do it tonight. But I could try to do it tomorrow. Okay. 
Um, I, wait a minute, though. You say you got an electric cook stove? Yes. Where's the electricity coming from? Let's see. That would be the city of Fairview. They have their own oh, electric. You... I thought this was one of them, like, off-grid houses you can hide from the no, government no, no. in. I'm sorry. No, it's oh. in town. Oh, it's in town. You can't hide from the yes. government in town. No, <laughs> no, you can't. It's uh, the electric is uh, electric water and trash is provided electric through water. The, yes, the electric. Your electric, your water, and your trash are all no electric with water. The city. That. If I have okay, electric water, I won't need a I won't need a bathroom okay, let's toaster, right? Let's rephrase that. Electric okay. trash and water are all provided through the city. Electric trash and water are all provided through the city. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then gas is through Summit Ele uh, Gas Company. Electric trash. You know. We got a lot of that out here in California, electric trash. Then people <laughs> work on computers. Yeah. <laughs> I like I like to call them electric trash. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm just a serial transient Democrat looking for a place to hide from the government. But I don't know if this this work for me. It sounds like a great place. Um, mm -hmm. I was thinking but maybe I could move in and then squat for like six months and then you can't kick me out because the laws favor tenants over landlords. You know that whole thing? Well, that won't happen because you have to pay me through the uh, real estate broker. Oh, okay. So no squatting? No squatting whatsoever. I get my $130,000 before you could even move in. But your son squatted though. Took it took you a while to get rid of him. That's what I'm banking on. I'm That's thinking family. Like by the time <laughs> It's different when it's family. Yeah, I, yeah, my brother's on the line and he said he's got a two thousand five hundred dollars and wants to know how far we can get with that. Mm, two thousand five hundred, that'd be twenty five hundred dollars. You can't get nothing. I get something for it. I just can't get yeah, the I'm, house. I, I'm going to remove the siding if that's okay for 2500 It says there's nothing up there for 2500 But if you, you want to call the uh, there's, real there's, estate there's broker. No price, there's, no price, there's, no, there's no price on the ad. Oh, yes, there is. And you can call the real estate broker uh, there's a photo of her up there, and she can give you all the information. Uh, she's better at it than me. Y'all have a good day. What's up? This is Megan. Leave me a message. Oh, let's talk about puppy milk. At the tone, you me can record yeah. your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for Hi, more Bappy. options. Hi, Bappy. Bappy, me and you are going to leave a message, Bappy? Uh, I'm just right here with Bappy. Oh yeah. I'm I'm yeah, I'm, I'm your stepbrother. Why are you bending over in the back of that washing machine I'm like that? I'm trying to reach my panties. Oh shit! Damn. Oh, I'm yeah. stuck. <laughs> looking oh. like a looking like a double wide surprise. Oh. Oh, oh it stinks. Nice. Mm. My pussy. Uh, Okay, oh. now, okay, now, why do you have to bring up that it stinks? Why? Why? Me. Why'd you do it? Oh, you want to join us? No, you're not advertising oh. it well. Room for one more. You get the front and I get the back. Oh. I'd like, I like to, can you go? Okay, this is a question I have. What if you have a top-loading washer? Like, if it's a top-loading washer, then I sit her on top of it and turn it on and watch it 
vibrate her ass cheeks until she squirts all over the place. Yeah. What if you don't have a what if you don't have a dryer and you have a clothesline to dry your clothes? Like how does this whole thing work? Then I tie her up with the rope. Hmm. It seems like you got answers for everything. I'm impressed. I've thought about all this, isn't that right, Bappy? We've tried everything. Yeah, I I can't wait till we go to the puppy mill. Oh, oh okay. Oh, oh, Bappy. Oh, my puppy mill. Oh, I got all kinds of puppies. Open wide. The perpetual puppy mill. Say ah. Uh, <laughs> what happened to you? Hello? No, but stuff. Um, Hello? we want that horse. Did you want that horse? Which horse? Yeah. We have a big horse that we ride. Um, we bought this property. Well, my dad bought this property and it came with this horse and I'm not a, a horse person, so I don't know, but we need to get rid of it. Okay. And we're just, you know, this property, huh? Okay. Where are you located? Hello? Hello horse Steve. machine ranch. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Good. So basically what happened is I saw your ad. We've uh, acquired this property um, through some, you know, it, we just acquired this property out here on Horse Machine Ranch Road. It's uh, through my grandpa and my dad. Uh, they, it's yeah. an acquisition of the Holy Order. Um, and uh, they, it came with a couple horses and we don't want them. It has all this other shit that we had to get rid of. Uh, we took it to like uh, thrift stores and yard sales. It was like a washing machine. And for some reason it had a bowling ball in it. And um, there's like a couple birds in the barn, and it's really weird stuff. Uh, Can you hear me now? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me you, now? Why the fuck you hang up on me? Why the fuck you hang up on me, I motherfucker? Can. Why the fuck you talk to me like that for, motherfucker? You fucking hung up on me. I'm trying to tell you something. Are you stupid or something? No, but you must be. I ain't stupid or nothing like that. I got this property for free. How much you pay for yours, motherfucker? What? You pay an arm and a leg. Pay an arm and a leg. Daddy, don't let him talk to you like that. Remember what we said about bullies? Yeah, motherfucker. Come over here to Horse Machine Ranch Road. I'll set you straight. Don't let him bully you like like Billy bullies me. Feel free to leave a message so I can call you back. Okay, I will. At the tone, please record. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hi, I'm calling about the house. Uh, It was fully remodeled on four acres. I'm interested. Can you give me a call back at this number? Thanks. You just called me. Who is this? Hey, this is Amy. My phone kept saying that this is an invalid number. I had a house out in the country. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, ma'am. It must be a wrong number, because I just got a scam likely guy. Oh, okay. Well, somebody kept calling me from this number about a house I had for sale, so I was like, what is going on? What number? That's got to be... What um, number? 317. Uh Uh-huh. That's the number that keeps showing up on my phone. What number just called you prior to me that you think is a scam? Uh... Hold on a second, ma'am. I can't hear you very well. Hold on. It was the same number. Okay, what number called you prior to you calling me? The 316. I ain't playing shit, ma'am. What are you talking about? I just got a call from you saying it was a scam likely, so I think you got the wrong number. Well, I may, because I'm pretty sure that they called me, so I wouldn't be calling trying to harass somebody. Nah, yeah, I think so, actually. There's a good chance of that. (laughs) Oh. I don't know. They left me a voicemail, too, and it was a woman's voice. So. What the fuck are okay. you, then? I'm a woman. What number did you just try to call? It's a Wichita number, it says. 
Bitch, don't fucking throw those fucking shade at me, motherfucker. I was calling you back trying to be halfway decent. You called the wrong fucking number. What number did you just call prior? Hello? Hello? You're awfully quiet for a man trying to sell stuff. Well, it depends on what you want to buy. I guess some of these Medicare motherfuckers calling me. That's why I don't answer this goddamn phone and I say he's calling. Who the fuck are you calling, motherfucker, motherfucker? Matthew's getting oh. this, y'all. Hello? Hello, sir. How are you doing this evening? Oh, pretty good, I guess. How you doing, ma'am? Oh, not too bad. I just uh, wanted to see. You've got the different items and things like that. I'm down the road from you. Oh, yeah. What do you need? <laughs> I got it. I got yeah. all kinds of stuff I uh, need my car ooh. for. Oh, oh, oh! I, I love it. Oh, yeah. I wanted to. Can I come through maybe tonight to check it out? Well, it's probably dark outside and it's raining, ain't it? Yeah, I like the the rough weather better. I, yeah. Plus, I sleep during the day. I sleep uh, during the day. Yeah. Well, now nah, I don't. I don't need you up here tonight. Nah, 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 right? That's what I was. Hello. Yellow. Hello. Who is this? You, got, you you do you do any deer hunting? Oh, sorry. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah, I got I got uh, I got a couple of deers. Yeah. Do what? I'd say I got some deer on the property, and I thought maybe you'd want to come shoot at them. Oh, no. Which, what do you do then? I thought you was like pest control. I've got these deer running amok on my property. I need someone to gun them down. Oh, um, no, I, I'm uh, like doing guided hunts and stuff at, at my place. Also, like a safari kind of thing, and like, oh, look over yeah, there. There's, yeah, there's the, there's the, yeah. Do you do you put people up in a Hummer and drive them around the property? No, I put them like in tree stands and stuff. Oh, I thought you'd be doing that guide tour, like, oh, there's a deer, there's a serially transient homeless Democrat, there's a a boar, you know, the kind of the features of the landscape, you know. No, I, I was trying to sell guided hunts and stuff for deer. That's what I'm doing. Oh. Well, somebody's got to do it. What kind of... So it's just deer? Yeah, I mean, we do. We can do turkey hunts and quail hunts and stuff like that, but it's not turkey season. Deer season is not till October mm. 1st. Yeah, I mean, last time I tried to shoot a deer, I shot my eye out. And my teacher in the fourth grade always said, you know, I'd shoot my eye out one of these days, and she was right. Yeah. That's hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Ask him if we could use an automatic. Well, that's a, that's a mighty fine question. So yeah. I can't aim. We can't aim real well because we got the cataracts. That's why we smoke so much weed. Uh, what if we was to use a gun that just... I'm thinking about Thank it. you for calling Jaguars. This is Donnelly. How can I help you? Hi. Hello. Hi. What, what do you do? Hi. Here? What do you do there? What are you calling for, babe? I'm trying to figure out what what happens when I come there. I've never been before. What happens when you come here? You come, you pay, you get in, you get dances. That's what you do here. But I don't know how to dance. Okay, sweetheart. I, 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 you have a good night, okay? No, I'm just trying to figure out how do I no, do because I've never been. No, what I'm saying is you come in and you... Uh, are you drunk already? Come in and get more drunk and have a better time. I got I got, I got, I got, light buzz. <clears throat> All right, well, perfect. Come in oh, and get serve, more you buzz. You're going to have such a good time. You, you serve I more thought right. this was a, Daddy, I thought this was about the dogs. Isn't this yeah. the place that Guys, has the dogs? Guys, we gotta stop it. We gotta stop and get condoms. All right, you let me know. Days. Have a good night. Okay. Machine got Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Who is this? 
There's hello. two of us here, but hello, can you, oh, is this another fake answering machine? Is this who? Hello, are you, oh, I thought you were a fake machine. There's two of us, we're interested in your chicken machine, please. Uh, I think you have the wrong number. No, no, no. Yeah. It's the machine. Yeah. I don't oh, have a machine. Oh. I'm, 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 garage in, sale. I'm okay. looking for I, one. I say machine, not okay. Well, so you're looking for the coup? Yes. Like the military style coup? No, I'm looking for a, a chicken coop. Oh. <laughs> I'm oh. looking for I one. I thought it was like, oh. No, and it's 10 o'clock okay. at night. It's too late I, to be calling people. Yes, I understand. No, it's not too late. It's never too late. That's what my therapist yeah. says. Well, it's your therapist is wrong, so. Hello? 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 Hey. Hey, yeah. are you, uh, you got okay. any horse machines for sale? A what? Do you have any hey, horse machines for sale? Horse machines? Yeah. My partner and I here, we're interested in buying a couple horse machines. We like to ride them in tandem, you know. Okay, yeah, we need no, the horses I... to pull the log. We need the logs, but we need the horses to pull the logs. Yeah. Exactly. Thank you for telling them, Jack. It's hard for me to explain things. I know. You're all hopped up on that dope. Well, well it's not dope. It's natural. It's weed. Man, it's weed. Everything's better on weed. Weed is way better than dope. Yeah. I know that. No, I like right. that. At least, dope is at, least when you, at least when you at least when you do weed, you kind of know what you're doing. And you don't stay awake for days at a time. Thank you. No. I try to explain that these kids want to do that fenton and stuff and all that weird shit and they're dying. Fuck that. I Fuck still that like, ain't nah, heck, I'm 96 years old. I the like that trink good. dope, though. I like trink dope. Oh, hell no. Stay that with dope. Did, You know what I mean? That trink dope. That trink dope can kill you in a heart. In a horror. That's right. That'll make you in a horse machine, and that's then it'll be a dead horse machine. Yeah. That's no, right. but I, I like to reenact the zombie apocalypse, so I take Trank Dope, and then I walk around the streets with my arms outstretched, and I go, ah. Yeah. Oh, you all hopped up on that crazy YouTube. You got to quit watching that YouTube so much, Jack. I told you, make you blind and crazy. Y'all listen to this guy. What's a YouTube? I got this. You know machine. what I'm talking about. You stare at that little phone thing all day. Here. Yes, because I'm waiting for a call. Okay, that's what they say there. The young kids are called waiting for a call. Uh huh. I'm I'm waiting for a call back from the Waffle House. I want to get a job there. <laughs> well, you know I'm hungry. It's just about supper time. Uh, Sir, do you know anybody? Do you know anybody? Get me a job. I'm be I'm between jobs right now. You two, it's time to get off the phone. Yeah, get I'm between jobs. If you could uh, deliver a couple of whoppers, like whopper, regular whopper with cheese for me and my partner Jack, we will tip you like hell, man. Hey, at least, at least I know Waffle House doesn't ranch have... Road. We're on Horse Machine Ranch Road. I don't know. That's number one. I don't know where I that is. Skill. I got number skill one, that, horse a potential, ranch road. that a potential right employer would Walmart. find valuable. Yeah. Just used to be a Kmart back in the day, but there's a Walmart up the, up the way. So what are you doing? Uh, What's going on over there? Um, 
Put your wife on the phone. Do what? Oh. I said, put your wife on the phone. I don't have a wife. Oh, don't you get freaky again mm. there, Jack. He ain't going to deliver if, if uh, you get them all wound up there. Take on them girls. You always take nah, on them I, th- oh, I thought if I get them wound up, he'd deliver faster because he'd get a case of the red ass and come over. Oh, okay. You better not take on no fannies till we get something to eat. Hmm. I hear I'm lots sure, of crickets. Uh, uh, two large fries with that. You don't have to get the Cokes and shit. Hell, we got beer out here. You know, if you're really thirsty, we got some, man. You could have some. Yeah, hell yeah. I go out in the country. I hear lots of crickets. Yeah. yeah see, there they go. Um, yeah, I know. I, 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 I'm, oh, bless I, your I, heart. I, I, you out there in the good air. Breathe some for me, son. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, smoke smoke that wheat. You got wheat? Is anyone growing wheat over there? No. Well, it, well they cut they, they cut wheat, but they don't smoke it. Why they would you should. Smoke you wheat? should smoke wheat every day. Smoke wheat oh, every wheat? day. I thought, you said, day. I, I, I thought no. you said wheat. Wheat. I did. Wheat? I said W-H-E-A-T, wheat. Smoke wheat every day. That's what Dr. Dre said. Weed, weed, not wheat. Oh, I must have got it. I must have got it. Got it wrong. I got the wrong one. Can you come smoke some wheat with me? Nah, I'm good, bro. I like to put liquid, liquid smoke. I like to put liquid smoke on the wheat. No more that fennel shit. I got plenty of weed here for you, Jack, and you know, just partner, bring him whoppers out. It's a large orders of fries. Shit, we'll hook him up there. We'll give him a little sack here. He can take him back to you with his tip. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the tip. organic. I like the whole wheat. I like the organic wheat, the wheat 420. You got that one? No. Yeah. I forgot what the purpose of this call is. Well, I'm, we had taken the horse machine and wanted to know if he could deliver. That's what I thought we was going to get something to eat. Oh, yeah. We was calling about logs and then, and then the right. horses. We horse to horse pull the machine. log. Right. Yeah, I don't have... I don't, know, I, I, don't, I, need, I don't have horses. I know that. I could... I could use some Adderall, I think, at this point, because I'm I'm losing the story. Yeah. Okay. I lost yeah. the story. You got to quit it. watching that dirt YouTube. Yeah, I you told you, Jack. Me. That thing will make you blind, son. I like this trank dope, though. Oh, what? Oh, good, You need to get I'll back in here. And... Yeah, vape some of this good stuff. How big oh. are the logs? Yeah, that's... I had this... <laughs> Note right down here. I want to ask you how big the logs are. They're they're anywhere between ten feet and nineteen feet long. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. How big around? How many inches across? And something like that. What about twelve? Yeah, but my colleague, to, my colleague. I would have to measure them lengthwise to see how far they are across. But. Well, I mean, I'm not going to trouble you that. I'm just kind of getting, a, you know, an eyeball. I mean, you probably cut the shit, so I'm thinking you know the, at least 12 inches maybe at the base or no. You know the, you know the mineral tubs you can buy at Woods for cows? Mm. Mineral, mi- mineral tubs? Uh-huh. There, there handles there. a lot of that out in the yard. Shit. Yeah, I, I uh, kind of like point fingers. Yeah, I bottle and sell uh, cow piss, so I know all about that. Yeah, man, the, the, them, them uh, Indian folks there. We got a good market going, man. And uh, yeah, they, they, all the holidays and we so, sell out that stuff. So you don't know the girth of your logs, is what you're saying. 
No, I don't. All I know is I go out, I cut him down, and I pull him up. How the hell? So look, I need to fit these in the yeah, back I mean, of a Prius. I got an overlanded I mean, Prius. I idea what the timber is. I need to fit these logs in the back of a Prius, and that's why I need to know the girth. Because you don't got horses, so I got to bring bring my wife's Prius down there. Yeah, that's right. Maybe we have to roll down the window too, you know, Jack. I always roll down the window when you're in the car. Well, hell yeah, we're you gonna stick that log out one window there because your no. big ass head there will be blocking the view. Shit, we might get pulled over if they see you. No, nah, it's because you'd be eating. I'm the best that. looking thing about that car. <laughs> I always have to roll down the window because you and your big city Chipotle always stinking up the car. Oh, hell, you just making fun of my good wig. I to told you that way to spice it. <sighs> okay, so we've got girth, girthless logs and no way to move them. Okay. Uh, have we summarized? Have we Going summarized the state of things? Whopper and large fry meal for me and Jack too, and he's getting a big chip. <laughs> oh, I could, hell yeah. Are you on DoorDash? Could I DoorDash these logs? Maybe send someone over there on an e-bike to pick them up. I do not do DoorDash. Hmm. You gotta get, you gotta get with the time. What about Uber Eats? Got Uber Eats. I don't do Uber. I don't. I don't do Uber Eats either. You do. Uh, what, what's that one? Double that order. In, Instacart. Yeah. yeah, Instacart. Who to deliver the logs? I don't do Instacart either. What about Grubhub? Don't do Grubhub. What does Grubhub and food have to do with logs? Yep. Well, logs How are about food. Email. How logs are about email. I, I got email. Yeah. <laughs> it's a big uh, D one. Oh wait, our C uh, our CEO C our CEO is on the phone. Wait, your our CEO was talking. Snappy, oh, do you have something so you wanted sorry. to say? Yes, yes. I'm going to recommend a service called Postmate, where oh. someone with a bicycle will do it for you, and we endorse them. Excuse me. Ugh. Yeah, Snappy is our CEO, President, Chief Financial Officer, and Custodian. I'm a woman in power. That's right. Oh, snappy. Huh? Are you intimidated Jeez. by a woman in a, a high position, sir? Like no. at the top of a ladder? Mm -hmm. Snappy is always in a high position because she's changing light bulbs around here. So she climbs up there and she's up in that high position. Yeah. She used to be on the basketball team in high school. I'm telling you what, this lady right here. Woo. Yeah, I got some. Guys, we'll move on to other things. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, huh? hi. You got the washing machine for sale? Yeah. Oh, good. What kind of condition is it in? Well, it's in good condition. All right. What's been cleaned in it? Just clothing or dirty things like underwears? Oh, just clothing though. But so was there underwear, like like you make a mess in your trousers and you throw it in there? No, no, no. All right. No. There wasn't no chocolate no. cake in there. No. Ask about the damn beans. <laughs> Can they wash all these diapers of mine, there? Ask him, please. Axel, no. Ask him if he like wash it. my diapers, please. Mm -hmm. Will you wash wash my diapers, please? Me and my my girl Miriam, she needs her diaper changed too. Uh, we change our diaper, oh, yeah. please, Miriam. 
Hmm. Are you interested in one? Help me. Yeah. My Miriam, I think her heartbeat stopped. Uh, I'm going to resuscitate her. Miriam! Uh, I just slapped her in the face there. But, uh, I'm not getting a reaction. Oh, okay. Okay, your eyes are kind of spinning around a little bit. Miriam, I, What do you do to her? Uh, Get off of her. Uh, what the I'm hell are you doing to my mother? Revive her. She's not dead. Help She's me, sleeping. Downy. What the hell's wrong with you? Downy. Get off of her. Downy, help Why are you me. trying to do that to her? Get your hands off her tits. Downy. Mama's got Please these titties. Help me. She won't wake up. She, she what's had a bad on? dream. Hey, Dad. What's, what's hit, her, hit her a little hard. What? I'm fine. What's that, Dad? There she is. Oh, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we need our diapers changed. Oh, God. What I think that's the first time I heard Snappy's real voice, by the way. Hello? Hi. Can I help you? How are you? Hi, I'm Mickey. How are you? Get away. Oh, oh, sorry. I'll go. Okay. Hey. Can I Ma'am? help you? Yeah. I'm looking yeah. for a lovely lady. <laughs> yeah. Can I help you with something? Yes, I would like to purchase some products and services, please. Are you called security control. Do you have a security issue, sir? Oh, no, there are any concerns. <laughs> are you playing on the phone to get you little brat mouse? <laughs> oh, mouse in the fucking world. Oh, I'm powerful. Come here, you little brat mouse. Let go of that phone. I can be small, but I'll kick your ass. Oh. Hey, quit fighting me. Get up. I'm going to get the cat. I'll have all your jobs. <laughs> uh, Hello? I am the Lord. I am the Lord of Disney. Hello? Okay. What can I help you with? I'm Mickey, goddammit. Oh. Bow before me. <laughs> Bow. Okay. 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 You Are you bowing? You little brat. Okay, I'm going to call you right back, okay? Okay, please do. Okay, bye. Hello? Yes? Hi. Uh, I was just calling to let you know that it, it's been completed. It's been done. I didn't ask you to do anything. Well, no, I saw the ad on Facebook Marketplace that you were looking for a human fecal matter to be put on your porch. So you Fuck need to you, asshole! I... I'm sorry? <laughs> Eagle Lodge, how can I help you? Hi, can, Hello, I talk ding to ding. E- can I talk to Igor, please? Huh? You said uh, Igor's Lodge? Econo Lodge, Hotel and Suites. Yeah. Can I talk to Igor, please? Who is Igor? Igor? Uh, he wanders around. He has a slight hunch. He no, has no. a lazy eye. Uh, He's a donkey with a pinned on tail. He suffers from severe depression. What is the room number? Uh, 215. Oof. Okay, hold on. Yeah, all right. Hello, from that. Hi, can I talk to Igor, please? <laughs> He's uh, Igor with uh, Dracula. Why? With who? Dracula? No. Last just... I knew, Renfield was with Renfield was with was with Dracula. He doesn't need uh, any more help, so I need to talk to Igor now. Damn it! 
<laughs> All right, cool. You want a cell phone number? No, no, that's okay. Listen, I do want to tell you, though, I have a mouth and I have a right to suck it. Oh, okay, cool. Mouth. That's my American right. I own I own a mouse, I have a license for it, and I can suck it. Hi, I have a food order for somebody here. Yeah, suck it. Hi, this is a DoorDash delivery driver. I'm I'm trying to do it. Good day. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Thank you for calling Historic Hotel Gibbs. This is Sarah. How can I help you? Hello? 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 Yes, I can hear you now. Hi. Sorry, my kid was playing with the phone. He, he messed with it all. Uh, I need to know if you have any rooms for booking. For what day? What type of room are you looking for? Uh, tonight. Do you have any openings tonight? Yes, I got some rooms available this evening. you looking for one bed or two? Uh, probably two. We have a perpetual puppy mill in the room. I'm so sorry, we're, we're you have a what? A uh, perpetual puppy mill. You know, they pop one out and another one takes its place. It, it's, you know, it's just a little business thing we do. Um, is there electricity in the room? Like, how many outlets would you say? I couldn't answer that for you. Okay, I know there's outlets there, in the room. I couldn't give you an estimate. But okay, yes, you know, we're downtown. That's limited? Alamo. We do have electricity here. Oh, yeah, don't forget the Alamo, you know? <laughs> Everyone yeah, forgets so we the Alamo. We have electricity. And they okay. support two incubators. Yeah, we got some chickens here. Can we can we have them in the room? Is that all right? Uh, no, I'm sorry. We won't be able to have incubators in the rooms. Okay, well, one's for my son. Oh. He's He's a preemie. Yeah, we, I wouldn't be able to accommodate that. Yeah, he's got a uh, science fair project due coming next week, so we're going to need two. And what's the gang one rate? One for the preemie and one for his science I'm sorry, fair the going project, rates, please. The going rates for the room for tonight. Uh, well, my room with the two queen-size beds, those are 169 plus tax. Okay, and what about the gang rate? Oh, my. I don't know. You tell me what rate you want that to be. Triple A discount. Well, no, the the rate for the gang. Triple A discount. Who's that? Why are y'all calling here? Well, I was looking for a room. Oh, here I got your number. To every downtown attraction, including the Henry B. Gonzalez Convention Center. (laughs) What's going on? (laughs) Don't don't tell my dad. Daddy D. The White. cyber police are coming it's for all us. It's Axel's fault. It's not mine. Please don't let me get it. Oh, shit. If she, if she comes back, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, Axel. Oh, talk over this. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's a group thing. Please hold. Thank you for calling the Army for School at the Fire this morning. Speaking of, how may I assist you? Morning, morning. Morning, morning. Morning, morning. Mone. Watch me now. <laughs> Good evening. Thank you for calling the Army for School at the Fire. This is Eva. How can I help you? Hi. Um, can you move a little bit to the left real quick? Um, how can I help okay. you? Just two, just two steps to the left. To the left. To the left. Oh, uh, yeah. That's okay, what I like to see. Yeah. Just, just stay on the phone with me. Just stay right there. Yeah. 
Um, how can I help you? Yeah. For a little bit yeah. Less. yeah, yeah, no, just keep talking, but just stay on the phone just right there. I'm trying to understand uh, what, yeah, how can I be of assistance today, sir? Oh, uh, yeah, you're helping so good right now. Uh, have a yeah. good night. Uh, Thank you for calling Hyatt House South Frisco. This is Brittany. Who may I ask this speaking with? Yeah, my name is Mr. Hole. You could call me Alvin. Okay. And I need to talk about my room. I need to talk about it. Are you currently staying in the room? Yeah, yeah. There's old containers of Chinese food up here. Inside the room? Yeah, in my room. Did you just check into the room? No, I've been here uh, for two days now, and I come back, and there's Chinese food in here. And I know it's not mine because I'm a racist, and I would never eat Chinese food. It's only American food for me, goddammit. Okay, well, well, you don't have to speak to me like that first off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, it wasn't directed at you. It was just a a goddammit in general. It's still, it's not necessary. What's the room number? I'm sorry. 215. If you look outside of my room, the the two boxes of Chinese food are against, I threw them against the wall, so there's a stain there that's going to have to be cleaned up. But I got it. I got it out of my room. It's out. Okay. Okay. But we need to talk about this because I want to know who's who's in here trying to uh, do their I'm little microaggressions and leaving Chinese food in my room. I'm not yeah. sure, unfortunately. They're leaving micro, microaggressions. Microaggressions. I don't like it. Okay. Well, I'll have my supervisor reach out to you in the morning. Um, was it, unfortunately, was it, was I'm it not you? sure who was hey, in the room. Hey, 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 was it you? We'll try not to lose our shit. Good evening. Thank you for calling a lot. First show, this is Jesse. How may I assist you? Hey, Jesse. Hi. So I've I've finished I've finished the uh, the insemination process, and now I need the emergency cleaning of the room. I've made quite a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. So I need someone to come up with some disinfectants, maybe some wipes, yeah, some sprays. I don't know what Thanks. you have. Bye. Good evening. Thank you for calling a lot. Frisco, this is Jesse. How may I assist you? Hey, listen, you high-calorie person. You need to come up here and clean this room. You know, you take the food from the next four years. Why you have a protein shake? I don't understand. Who told you you need a protein shake? This is my physician. He oversaw the process. The mashed potato is not part of your diet. Hello. Hello, my name is Dr. Nazarden. Hello. What brings you to Texas? How's your fat ass doing? You know, you put all these cookies and candies in your body. They make you fat. Holiday in its worst. The first guy, how can I help you? Hi. um, I need to let you guys know that some things are going to be missing from my room when you guys come and clean it after I go to leave. Um, And I just wanted to be upfront about it. Okay, well, what's missing out of the room, sir? Well, I I have it's it's because of my disability. I suffer from pica. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, so bad. Okay. Uh, okay, that's when I eat. I that's when I eat objects other than food. It's a neurological disorder. I can't control it. Um, I have eaten the television. Uh, that is gone. Uh, the bed sheets and comforter. I have eaten that and consumed that. That is gone. Uh, and I also want to let you know that part of the mirror is missing. Okay. And so that's that's all going to be gone. I don't want anyone being shocked when they come up here thinking then that I'm a thief or something, but no, that's not it. Okay. And what is your room number? I'm in 215. Okay. I definitely will put that in the notes about your disorder. Okay, because... Because like I said, I took it apart. Like the circuit board is very tasty to me. 
Uh, it tastes like banana nut bread bread, and it's really nice. And it's chewy. And then I use the, the the wiring inside to do flossing because dental dental health is very important to me because with my disease, I eat a lot of hard objects, and so I have to take care of my teeth. Okay. The only problem is I forgot to unplug it this last time, and it shocked me. And and then I got violent, and that's why part of the mirror is broken because I got violent with the TV. Okay. All and like I said, I just, I just, I'm trying to be honest about it. Uh, I'm not, I'm not what you, you would call a uh, a freeloader or a thief. I didn't want anyone accusing me of stealing. Um, I ate it. Okay. All right then, sir. Well, you you have a no, good, good one. You can mark you can mark in the notes as well that I also that you have very tasty appliances, and I commend you on this. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I'm gonna write that on Yelp like right now. I'm gonna go write a review that you have tasty appliances. Well, thank you so much. I we we we're glad that we have tasty equipment for you. Yeah. And then I I peed on the wall also, and now the wall tastes like schnozberries and bottlenose dolphins. Uh, bottlenose. Well, I want to go ahead and let you go, then, sir. You have a good one. Okay, I'm going to eat this phone after we're done. Okay. I love you. Cal Fitness, this is Steven. Hey Stephen, this is uh, Dwight. I'm a I'm a member there. Yes, sir, Dwight. I'll get out. And I f- I forgot I forgot to check on my way out. How long do I get to to rent the equipment for to take home with me? What do you mean? What equipment are you talking about, uh, Dwight? Well, I spoke to a couple of the of the older gentlemen there when I was in there in the locker room earlier. I was changing. Okay. And they were telling me about the the uh, the the equipment that you get to borrow and take home. And so I took home several sets of dumbbells with me. And I wanted to know how long I get to have them here before I'm required to bring them back. Oh, you, you took them from the back room, was it, or from the floor? From the floor. Okay, I, I'm not sure what who said that, Dwight, but we don't let anybody take, this is my equipment, uh, I don't let anybody take equipment out of here. I'm not sure who said that, but th- that's nobody has ever done that, and nobody has said it's okay to do that, so I'm confused right now. You, you caught me off guard right now. Yeah, this I put it Dwight. Yeah, I put them in my I put them in my duffel bag, and I like I said I forgot to check and see how long. But I understand other people want to use them too, want to take them home and want to use them at home. So like I I don't know how long I'm able to use them. I figured you were doing some type of system like how library books were used to be checked out back in the day. No, no way. Do I? No gym ever does that. I've never heard of that. And what did you check out anyways? What did you take? Just so I know. Uh, I took dumbbells. I took the I took the set of twenty pound dumbbells. Uh, I took the set of twenty fives. From the back uh, room, then, Dwight? Uh, Are we talking from the back room or from no, the I dumbbell? No, no, on no on the floor on the floor by the dumbbell oh, right off the no, rack. No. <laughs> My man, you're not supposed yeah. to do that at all. I don't know who said that to you, but that's a no no because when people if something's missing, obviously it's stolen. But you're telling me that, so I'm not saying you're stealing, but. You're not supposed to do that at yeah. all, actually. They, they, whatever you see here stays here. It's, they're my machines, my equipment, yeah, it's well, the facility I'm, equipment. Yeah, yeah. I'm, just gl- I'm just glad that all I took was the dumbbells because, uh, I <laughs> mean, the treadmill was in high consideration on my list. Well, obviously, yeah, we can't get that out of here. But please, if you could bring them back today, you, they're supposed to stay here. You're not supposed to take them home. If, if anybody takes stuff home, I, I, I mean, nobody has done that. I mean, nobody has ever asked me, hey, can I borrow this? I mean, unless it's like a resistant band, if someone's mom wanted some therapy, they'll borrow it, bring it back next day. Very yeah. rare. No, I got resistance no, bands of my own, but I didn't have any dumbbells. No, my brother, please, if you don't mind. If, so you're speaking to the owner. What you got to bring it back because these machines oh, here, okay. yeah, you're not supposed to do that. that that's a no-no. And I don't know who said that to you. If they did, excuse my language, but they're idiots. They're out of their mind because no I, gym will ever allow you to take stuff it's off. It's one of the old men that walks around in the in the locker room fucking, he, pardon my language, he no, walks no, around in their bare ass all the time. You know you know how the those older guys one? are. They just don't care. Is yeah, the with his leathery one the ass. Long-headed one? The lo- no, the long hair one. Bob, no, he's out of his mind because he used to come here when it was 24. Now that it's my gym, Dwight, 
I, they know, and these guys are not stupid. Look, they know. You, no gym will let you, because here's the thing. It's like me going to Walmart, taking their stuff off, saying, yeah, I'll bring it to the next day. No, it doesn't work. When these are machines and equipment, no way. You're, you're not supposed to take nothing off, not even a belt. Yeah, a belt, and, nothing. He, and he's yeah. the one that took my deposit. Like, I gave him the $25. He said I had to put the deposit down, and he said that, that you authorized him to take a deposit for these. No. You, so you spoke to the old man in the locker room, and you gave him a deposit, right? Yeah. No, yeah, $25. Crazy. So hold on. What, what gym do you come in? Let me make sure you call the right gym. What gym do you go? You go, you go to Calfit Mantica or gym here at 1090 North Main Street? Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, because you know I'm confused because I've never had anybody, and I've been doing this over 20, I'm going to 21 years, right? Nobody has ever asked me that question, and everybody knows that that's common sense. You don't take stuff out of the gym because it's, it's our equipment. The, this stuff doesn't get borrowed. There's no borrowed well, nothing see, there. See, well, see, I'm new. I'm new. Like, I, no, no, I just okay. started my weight loss journey. My, yeah, and, like, yeah, this yeah. is like only my first couple weeks in the gym, so I don't know how this works. No, no, it's okay. He, he, that's what I'm saying. That's, he he should have known. It's common sense. But that's weird he said that because even when he used to be 24, Dwight, the uh, corporation, they're even more anal. But, but, yeah, as far as machines, sir, you can't take nothing out of here. No belts, nothing. There are, there are stuff. So, please, I'm, <laughs> if you don't, that's why I'm, I'm laughing, not a, in a bad way, but I'm laughing thinking, who, the, who told you it's okay? That is so weird. I mean, if I tell this story to my club manager, he's going to die laughing right now. He's going to say, what the hell you mean who, someone took machine? You're not supposed to do nothing, none, nothing like that. Cause, and it doesn't even belong to him. This is all my machines. When I came here, took this gym over because I used to be down the street. When I take this location over, when I took it over, I brought my machines here, and we have like half a million dollars in machines, but they're all my machines. And I've sold like equipment in the past, like older machines, ellipticals, treadmills, bikes, to people's, they, they bought them, put them in their personal homes. But to borrow stuff, we never do that. That's a, that's a no-no. That's hell no. We don't do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll bring, I'll bring, oh, I'll trust, bring them I back. Trust. Like I've got, I, I've got the 20-pounders right here, but I can't find the, the second dumbbell, the second 25-pounder. I'm trying to figure out where I put it in the house. Yeah, please, brother, we need them. We have to. Because those 25-pounders, a lot of women and men use those, actually. Please. Do it. This is important, my man. Please find them, bring them back, because they do cost money. When we order them, it costs a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? But when, when can you bring them as soon as possible? Can you bring them tonight? I'm here till 11. Um, ten, ten, you're, here till, you're there till 11? I'm here till 11. I'm here um, late, yeah. I'm okay, sorry. well, I'll be back from vacation in, like, two weeks. No, but you got to bring them back, brother. This is the gym equipment. Like I said, that was but a big I brought, no-no. I, I yeah, but I brought them on the... I took, them, I took them in my luggage with me. They went on the plane with me. Oh, shit. That's crazy. What's your last name on your account here? The last name is Johnson. J-O-H-N-S-O-N? J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Okay, and then that's, you said Dwight? Yep. I'm sorry. What was the first name again? Dwight, D-W-I-G-H-T. It's not. It's not coming up. Is it under someone else's name, Dwight? No, no. It, it, it's under mine. Um, J O H N S O N. J O H N S O N. Yes. Yeah. J O H N S O N. Dwight. Carolina. Cody. Christina. Huh? Let me see. Christina is. Christina is my wife. Oh yeah, I just read her name here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, so, so was it under Christina's is, name? Then? Is it under her name? You think? Well, no. This is. Oh, it must be under her name because we, we we used her card. We used her. Uh, oh, bank what's card. her last name? Sorry, give me her last name. That was a different one. Give me her last Johnson. name. What's her last name? Johnson. Her new last name is Johnson. Same thing. Same as mine. Yeah. Okay. G O H N S O N. Yeah, she's not. Her yeah. name is Christina. You said yeah. She's no, no. Her. It's not. Yeah. When did you sign up? Uh, was it about recently? A, about a month ago. Yeah, about okay. a month ago. You know what? Give me your cell phone. It's not coming up. What's your number, sir? Okay. Did it pop up on the phone, or you need me to read it to you? Yeah, read it. Please, if you don't mind. Oh. Okay. Give me a second. I got to look at the back of it because it's a new cell phone. I, I had to put the number on the back Go of ahead. it. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys have a good day. See. Bye, guys. Yeah. Bye. Have a good day. Be safe. You guys want something to drink? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. It's... Uh, sure. It's five. Oh, it's five. It's uh. F- five it's five oh five. Oh, five oh five. No, no, five oh five. Five oh five. Three eight four. Three eight four. Uh huh. Six zero four three. It's not coming up. Five oh five. Three eight four. Six zero four three. It's not coming up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my. That's my only cell phone number. That's the one I signed up under. Uh, but we did use Christina's bank card though. 
And, and who was the main person? Were you the main person on a contract or was she the main person? She was. She was. And how do you spell your first name? My, D-W-I-G-H-T. D-W-I-G-H-T and it's J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Hey, Paco, could you do me a favor? Could you help her out, please? Oh, yeah, of course. She's been waiting. The white. Yeah, that's crazy. The white. I, I don't even see it here. Yeah, but but when I get back from because I'm on a work trip right now, two weeks, and then I can bring the, I can bring these back. Okay, please, the white. Because I'm as an owner, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. That's that's because that's a no no, man. That kind of upsets me. Because here's the thing. I'm going to have customers here bitching at me because they want to use the dumbbells. And they're going to say what's going on. And, and I mean, if I'm telling you, if my club manager is working out right now, Jose, if I tell him, he's going to trip out because nobody borrows equipment from, from gyms. That's, that's a no-no, like I said. I mean, you didn't know. But if you took enough, like if you took a five-pounder and a 10-pounder and you, you like, duct tape them together, you could, you, you could probably get no, up to 25. No, no, no. We don't, do, we don't do that. It doesn't work like that, Dwight. Trust me. I, I, I'm just, I'm just yeah. saying there's, there's, no, works, there's works arounds. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't. Because that's why we have dumbbells up to 120s. Hey, you know, use, you know yeah. what? Um, uh-huh. you, you know what, Bob? I'm on. I should be on Bob's account because Bob was the one. He he told me I should cancel Christina's account and I should go under him. Bob. Yeah. Here, let me check. I'm so I'm so sorry, guys. I'm okay. so sorry. Here. But what's the, what's the last name? What's his last name? I don't Bob know Bob's Blessing. last name. I just know him as Bob. Long hair Bob is what I call him. Robert, right? Yeah. Robert. Long hair Robert. Yeah. Bob. The, the, the old guy that's been here, Dwight, he pays for himself yeah. for the whole year. He just renewed it not too long, and he was by himself. Uh, so I know he doesn't have anybody under his name. I know that for sure. He just that's he just, he just gives me access. He he just he just tells me come on in. He's like come on in. He holds the door for me. No, Dwight, it doesn't. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I mean, I, I, like I said, I can't find you in a system. I don't know if you remember. I'm meaning, I don't know if you are a member here, but you can, you can't just come in like that, man. You gotta, you gotta pay, you gotta pay to come in here, you know, obviously. And then, and once again, and the well, equipment and the all thing that. Is yeah. Bob, Bob said he has, Bob says he has it covered. He's like, I got you. Is what no, he keeps telling me. No, like, no, I got no, no, you. No. I got you. No, no, no. He doesn't. He doesn't. Bob doesn't. He, there's no way because the, when these guys pay by themselves, you gotta get your own membership. Nobody gets nobody unless you come with him. He pays. For you for the whole year or monthly, Dwight, then it's different. But let me ask you something. Where are you located right now? You said you're out of town. Yeah, right. Right now, right now I'm in Honolulu. I'm in Hawaii. Oh, and when's the last time you were here, Dwight? Uh, I was there. Let's see. I left on Wednesday, so it was like Monday or Tuesday. I was in last Monday. Sorry, brother. Yeah. And the dumbbells that you Monday took, or you Tuesday. Said Monday, Tuesday. And the dumbbells you took, did you take them from the back? Because I see the 20s and the 12s here. Which one did you take, the white? Because I'm confused right now, by the way. I've got to figure this out. This is not making sense to me. You know the what one, I'm saying? Yeah, so, the, ones, the, one, yeah the, one, the ones in the back, yeah. Oh, you took dumbbells in the back, huh? Okay, hold on one second. Hey, Jose. Did you talk to Dwight Johnson? He said Bob let him in. He's on vacation. He said he could borrow dumbbells. He borrowed dumbbells. He's on Hawaii right now. He took dumbbells. Yeah, it's this weirdest situation. Oh, yeah, did you just hear that, Dwight? He said, hell no. <laughs> he just gave me this crazy look. I'm telling you, we've never heard of this, and I've been doing this 21 years. I'm from Chicago. I didn't talk to him. I talked to Bob. No, but that's, I'm, tell, I'm asking if, if you talked to Jose or if you've seen him. Or, oh, you asked, but, you asked if he talked to Bob. But when you Bob. came in, oh, I didn't, asked him, no. when you came in, who, you didn't check with anybody in the front desk because you, you can't just walk in. Obviously, you got to check in, and it's a liability, brother. Like I said, do I, no, I just walked in with I just wa- I just walked in with Bob and we were having a conversation and he he checked in and then I just continued to the locker room. Yeah, no, 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 that's not here. Let me check here. What? Yeah, we're, we are missing those. <laughs> you so the twenties are here. You took the twenty fives. You said. I took both twenties and twenty fives. Okay, that's okay. Do I just do this? Look, I, I took got two. Your I took two sets. Yeah, so I, I got your number here. I mean, if you took his, uh-huh. his place, his equipment, that's different. But gym equipment, do I? Like I said, I'm shocked, my man, because gyms, gyms don't. And, and I'm shocked that you don't know, because gyms don't just give out equipment. Because you got to keep in mind, Dwight, it's common sense. Equipment is for people to use, not for people to borrow and take home. That's why I'm shocked. But if you took Bob's well, stuff, I, I, took borrowed Bob's them stuff to use, I borrowed them to use them. Well, no, no Bob, but that's, but that's Bob, what Bob I'm said these are yours. He, he, handed, he handed them to me. He, he, 
he handed them to me. He's like, Bob's Bob's a good guy. He's like, he's like, oh, here, just take Bob. these home with you and try them out. Yeah, yeah, but he's I'm like, try try these that. out. He's like, take them home, try them out, test drive them, see if you like them. So I did. I, I brought them home, it. and I don't think he knew I was leaving on vacation. He didn't know I was gonna have them for like two weeks. You know. So let me ask them, when you guys took those plates, you guys didn't talk to anybody here, nothing, just came in, took the plates and left. And, no, and Bob, Bob, said Bob said it was allowed. He's, he, Bob, Bob, Bob says, no, hey, go ahead, take no, these. No. And no, 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 he is, he is out of his mind. I, I love Bob, too. If that's the same Bob, long hair, tall, old guy, yeah, long that's, hair, that's the same Bob. Yeah, yeah old, I've known old, him. long I hair Bob. Yeah. I love the guy, Dwight, but here's the thing. Yeah. He, he should know it's common sense. You don't give out club's equipment without, even, even not even bringing it up to us. Not only that, Dwight, you're not even a member, buddy. So, so I got half a million in machines. Well, Bob, Bob, you know? told, Bob, told me, yeah. Bob told me I'm a member. I don't know, man. Because I, I don't remember him coming up to us. Of his... was... Go ahead. Yeah, well, yeah. no, I met, him, uh, I met him through online. I, I signed up for one of, his, uh, one, of, he, one of his, what he calls his locker room classes. And so I come in there for the classes into the locker room. What, hold on. I'm, I'm confused now, Dwight. So... You, so you sure you came into this gym? I'm just making sure you called the right gym yeah. now, Dwight. Because this is the owner, man, and yeah. this is all shocking as he hell. Hold, he I've holds never class. Yeah, he he holds class in the in the locker rooms, and he he teaches no, he teaches me yeah, how this, how to not be ashamed of my body and how to masturbate properly. Oh, now you're fucking around. That's what you're doing. No, so now no, you're wasting I'm, your I'm time, trying to Dwight, be honest right? with. You. No, I'm trying to be honest with you. Well, well, who the fuck goes in the gym do I and jacks off? What kind of shit is that? You don't think that's fucking stupid? You tell well, me. Well, I mean, I, well, it's not. No, I mean, you tell it's me. It's not my game, problem. You I mean, me, you're, but you're wasting my fucking time now. This whole time you're calling me and you come in the locker room and jack off. Is that what you're to fucking do? You think it's a fucking joke? But, I mean, no. Seriously, where do he? I, where he? Where he wants to teach the classes up to him? I'm not the one to tell him how to do his business. And you're claiming that you stole dumbbells, but the dumbbells are here. You don't steal any dumbbells. So are you wasting my fucking time? I, don't I got know. the ones out. Of, I got the ones out of the back. I got the ones out of the back. There, there's nothing. They're not missing in the back. They're still there. I just went and looked at them. So I don't know what you're fucking talking about, man. You're no, wasting my time well, and my life right now. I, I don't know. I don't know and what to tell you. If you, theft, if you, if you look, can't look, keep if you took them inventory, if you took them, then it's theft. I'm, I'm being honest with you. That's fucking stupid. Nobody goes in the gym and takes machines. I don't want to be disrespectful. But, but you can't prove that. In. You can't prove that in a court of law. You would have to prove that I intentionally stole something. I will shit you, on you at the court of law. It doesn't matter because if you took them off cameras, I would know. But that's what I'm saying. When did you come in? How, wait a minute. But I told you I put them in my duffel bag. How are you, your cameras going to detect anything? Well, we'll know if I do inventory, but they're back there. So you're either lying to me or you're fucking around. It's one of the two. So what are you doing? I'm not... Why are you yelling at me? Why do you have an elevated voice? I'm not yelling voice? at you because you're speaking stupid to me. Why when you say jagging off, now you're being fucking disgusting, Dwight? I don't play games like that. I don't know what hey, you're hey, thinking. Quit I don't, yelling I don't at me. So why don't you do this, Dwight? Quit why don't you come meet me. me here when you're done? When you get back from your Hawaii trip, get your ass in here and meet me here. Meet the fucking owner so I can talk to you. I don't care if you think I'm yelling at you. Now you're disrespecting me in my gym. You understand what I'm saying? Quit yelling at me in lowercase, motherfucker, okay? That's don't all I'm going to say. Fuck your mom, you fucking molester, bitch. Fuck your mom and your wife, bitch. How about that? Why, wait, wait, wait a minute, why am I a molester? You are a molester, you're jacking off in the locker rooms with Bob. What do you think that is, you fucking idiot? You, don't, you think that's respectful? Bob's you think we're going to allow you to come here, you fucking consent. idiot? What are you, stupid? What's the matter with you? You think you can Listen, call business I, and fucking talk to people like that and take fucking dumbbells out of the gym? Are you stupid? Where do you live? Hey. I, listen, I, I've masturbated in your showers so many times. Yeah, that's like, why, I don't that's understand why, yeah, because you're a is. fucking loser. You don't know how to get pussy, maybe. I don't know. That's your fucking problem. No, it's just a good release after a good pump. Yeah, sure. Pump up your fucking mouth, motherfucker. So why don't you come back and see me when you come back from Hawaii? We'll talk face to face. You want to do that, Dwight? I'm on a, I, I will. I'm on a very I, important I, business trip. I'm a very important oh, you man. Are, yeah. I make Go lots of money. In Hawaii too, motherfucker. I'll see you back here when you come back. How about that? Hey, wh why are you saying yeah? jacking off like that? Like it's a disgusting habit. That's natural. It's nature. Yeah, it's nature. Yeah, yeah sure it is. You're jacking off with Bob in the back. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, you think cool? I, I I don't know if you're just I don't know if you're jealous sure. or what the problem jealous is or why you're getting all wound up. Yeah, hey, jealous of your stupid ass taking dumbbells out of businesses and jacking off. You must be stupid. And this is a prank call, Dwight. I'm I don't not know stupid. if you're you, you're a fucking idiot. It's Let me not just a prank you're call. wasting your life. You I don't, need to get a fucking I don't know. life. No, no, I don't. No, no, I don't no, know no, if really. You're you need to get a life. I'm you with really Bob need to get a life. Listen to me. I'm not listening. You need to get a life. You really do. I'm serious. Go work, pay some taxes or something. You fucking idiot. Because this is not the way to fucking do business, motherfucker.
You understand that? And that's how you get treated. Listen, listen, listen. I subscribe to Bidenomics, okay? That too. Bidenomics, City. How can I help you? Hello, hi. Listen, right. uh, there's an old man. There's an old man in here in the locker room, and he's jacking off. Uh, uh okay, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, no, he, I, like, I asked him, I said, hey, can you, like, either not do that out here in the open or at least take it to a stall or to the shower or something? Okay. And, like, he's just, he's just, he's just in plain view, like, now he's, like, yeah. being really yeah. blatant about it. Yeah, we'll go uh, check up on it. Thanks for letting us know. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's <laughs> being blatant. Thank you. Hi, I'm calling from the corporate office. We need to test your lunk alarm. For real? We well, asked, yes, sir. That's crazy. We have. Whoa. I'm not even caught. All right, give me one sec, all right? All right, sir. I'm going to put my supervisor on. Wayne? All right, for sure. Uh, hello. Hi. Hello. Tell uh, tell that tell that gentleman it doesn't matter if he's not clocked in or not. This will take just a moment. I uh, mean, it's one of the matches for overnight. Okay. Well, basically, what we've been having here at the uh, at the corporate level, uh, we you know we get statistics back on the lunk alarms uh, every time they're activated, uh, just for uh, for our purposes here, and uh, we haven't been getting a connection to your lunk alarm. In about the past three days, has it been activated in the last three days? Um, I don't. I'm not too sure because I haven't been here since like Wednesday, mm-hmm. so I'm not too sure. Okay. If we've been um, using so it a lot much. So what? So what we're gonna? Yeah. Well, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to activate it for about thirty seconds, uh, so we can try to detect it here to see if we're gonna have to send a technician out to have it reset, or if it's functioning All properly right. and then we're just not getting it. All right, so go ahead. Do you All have right. the push button or do you have the the white switch flip? We have the white switch. All right, go ahead and flip that switch, and uh, we'll let it roll for about 30 seconds here, and I'll monitor it from our end. All right, sounds good. All right, and just stay on the line with me. All right. Oh, uh, that was too. That was too short because we still gotta let the lag. We gotta let the lag run out. It's about a 15 second lag. Uh, I see. I see. So we, 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 gotta, we gotta do. We gotta do a full 30 seconds. All right. All right, we're at three percent. Oh, oh, no, you stopped it too short. We're gonna have to do it again. I bet. All right, go ahead and turn it back on. All right, so what, what we're going to do is we're going to have to perform a reset. So what we're going to do here, and give me about uh, a minute. i got to go ahead and set this up for the reset. I'm going to have you go ahead and turn it on and just leave it on, and then it will shut off, and that will be the reset. And then it will be reactivated at about 45 seconds after it goes off. So give me a minute here. I'm just putting through a few. Let's see here. Put this code in. All right. And apply configuration. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have you turn it on and leave it on until it goes silent, and then that'll begin the reset process. So go ahead and flip it back on, and we'll leave it on until it goes silent. I mean, it seems to work fine. 
Right, but we're not getting the the signal back here. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to rebind the tubes on it. And so what we'll do is we'll have you turn it on. It'll probably take about 45 seconds, but it will go silent. And then it'll begin the reset process, and that'll take approximately another 45 seconds to a minute. And then we'll be uh, we'll have that all resolved, and uh, we'll, we'll be done with it. I mean, I'm getting a lot of pissed off people over here looking at me right now. I, you know what? I understand because it is a very loud sound, and it's only supposed to be used in instances of uh, rule breaking or being obnoxious. You know, kind of a warning signal. Uh, but it's very important to also to our advertising. And when we get those statistics back, we can let people know, like, hey, we're a very inclusive gym. We don't have a lot of quote unquote lunks here at this location. Uh, and our our people at the front desk, they keep an eye. They keep it very tight here. So let's go ahead and flip that switch and get her going. Hey, 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 hey. What's that now? Hello? Thank you for calling Planet Fin. This is Simon. I'm going to help you. Hey, Simon, this is Dwayne from the corporate office. Uh, I just got disconnected. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have tapped into the Lunk Alarm remotely, and I will be activated it on my side. So uh -huh. don't be alarmed when this starts going off. Okay, for sure. So I'm going to be turning it on for the next about six hours. Uh, so, d again, you'll have to notify customers as they come in to work out the reasoning for that going off. Okay. No problem. And so... Okay, that sounds good. Are you the uh, Are you the manager? Are you the one that would not help me earlier because you weren't punched in yet? Oh yeah, overnight lead. Sorry, I was uh, in the office. <laughs> oh okay, okay. He he made it sound like more of something that you you just refused to to do anything. Oh no, I was just not clocked in, and then I went to the office, and then I'm back. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We definitely don't want you working off of the clock. Uh, that's, yeah. that's against the law, of course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. So I've 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 tapped into the uh, to the Wi-Fi repeater that the uh, Lunk Alarm is attached to, and I'm going to be periodically for the next six hours turning it on and off, on and off. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Like any like intervals, like every right. hour or so. Is there what are like the intervals? Like every uh, hour? Well, as as well, well, no, as as needed because we're doing uh, okay. some troubleshooting on there. Right, we haven't been getting a signal back here at the corporate office about uh, uh, when it's being activated for how long uh, for the statistics. Okay, for sure. So, um, so, but uh, I, I'm going to try about every seven minutes. It's every a seven-minute seven rule. Okay. It'll run for five. Yeah, every seven minutes, it'll run for a solid five minutes. Five minutes? Okay. <laughs> yeah, every seven minutes, it'll run for five minutes. For sure. Throughout, like, the throughout and six that's hours? For, that's for the next next six hours, yeah. Okay. All right. I just wanted to give you a heads up. Oh, yeah, no problem. Yeah. Okay, in and out, in and out. Mm -mm -mm. Talk to you later. All right. <laughs> bye. All right, all right, bye. Thank you for calling Planet Fitness. How can I help you? Hi. Uh, can you turn your lunk alarm on real quick? Uh, sure. How how long do you want it on? Uh, just for maybe ten seconds. Minute. A minute and ten seconds. That's a little too much. Um, no, no, just too long. No, just ten, just ten seconds. Just ten seconds, not a minute ten. Just ten, ten seconds. seconds. Ten seconds. All right, all right. Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Six, it's not on. Seven, eight. It's not on. Nine. It's not yeah. on. All right. All right. Request. What complete. happened to Anything it? Why, why is it? Why is it? Why is it broken? I'm not sure. I think we haven't got it fixed. Everything is broken in this building. Actually, we have the ceiling broken. Right? Yeah. That's just leaking. Um, so, you, so what you're saying is, right now, I could I could come in and I could lunk out, and you couldn't do anything about it because you don't have your alarm. Um, uh, I'm guessing. I don't know. All right. Well, I'm going to get on my get on my bodybuilding it. forums. Now I'm getting on my bodybuilding forums, and I'm I'm gonna put the word out. We're all gonna come in, and we're gonna start lifting weights. We're gonna have nice tank tops on, and we're gonna start slamming weights. Honestly, that'd be a good ass video, bro. That you'd give me content. So if you could do that, that'd be perfect. All right, sweet, sweet. And then we're gonna pull the fire alarm. All right. 
Alright, sounds good, bro. That'd give me content. Alright, cool, cool. Cool, cool, right, cool, cool. Alright, I'll stretch you I'll stretch you later. Yep. Alright, you're a chill one. Later. Alright, TikTok out. You wanna go check the bottom? Hello, this is Planet Fitness in Pittsburgh. How may I help you? Hello? Hi hello, hi. Hi. This is this Dwight. Is... I'm calling from the corporate office. Uh, I understand you guys put in a ticket for uh, a, a malfunctioning lunk alarm. Um, no, it's see, our lunk alarm works. Oh, we we got a ticket here uh, in the in the technical support department, and it said that. <laughs> Thank you for calling Planet Fitness in Pittsburgh. This is Mo. Hey Mo, how you doing? Are you guys having problems with your telephone too? Because we just got disconnected. No, I think we're fine. Okay. But uh so we're gonna have to go ahead and troubleshoot that lunk alarm issue then. Thank you for calling home with Sweets Frisco. How may I help you? Hi. Do you wanna explain to me why I have some Mormon gentleman knocking on my door right now telling me I can't fornicate in a room I've paid for? Uh what's your room number? I'm in 215. Is some guy in black slacks. He had a white T-shirt. He has suspenders on and a bow tie. And he was trying to teach. He's like, "Have you heard about Jehovah?" And I said, "Oh, sir." I was being very respectful to him. I said, "Sir, I'm kind of busy right now. I'm entertaining. I have a young lady in here." And he says, uh, "Yeah, I own. I'm part owner of this hotel, and you can't be fornicating outside of wedlock in this hotel." Okay, um, I'll get it handled. What's the last name on your reservation? Last name is Johnson, J-O-H-N-S-O-N. Okay. I'll go ahead and get it uh, handled. Thank you. Okay, because he's been back several times. He, like, literally okay. keeps chucking up on me to make sure that I'm not fornicating. Okay. And, it, like, I mean, he, he gives me, like, the most disapproving looks. Like, I'm I'm trying to be really nice to him. I understand... He's out trying to spread his, you know, the gospel of his religion. Cool, that's fine. But, like, when he's going to stand there in such a stance, like a stoic stance, and he keeps snapping his suspenders every time that he says the word fornicating. Okay. Thank you. And you said okay. it's 2.15? I mean, all right. 2.15, yeah. Okay. I'll get it handled. And And he may say that I was rude because I did offer to tag him in as a joke, but he did not like that. He actually took quite a bit of offense to that as well. Okay. I'll get it handled. Thank you. So, I appreciate you. Thank you for your efforts. Bye. Oh. Uh, River, right? San Jose? He hello, sir. Somebody just activated Putt-Putt Party. Okay. What no, no, I'm, I'm talking. They're in, the, they're in the hallways right now, and they're fucking smacking golf balls around with fucking putt putts, like little little putting green. Uh, I think you have the, I think you have the wrong number. This is the spirit right now, San Jose. Yeah, I know. They're down here by the bathrooms, and they're smacking the balls around with little fucking putting greens and shit. Oh, really? Okay, I'll go check it out. Yeah, I because one of them, I'm like sitting here trying to pee, and he's like, "Oh, I'm about to get a hole in one," and he keeps like poking me in the ass with his club. Okay, I'll go check it out. All right. Thank you. All right, then. Uh, what is this? Bullcrap, I can help you. Hi, uh, can you tell me when the when is the uh, the fireworks show? Why would we have a fireworks show? There's that I these people they're passing out flower flyer flowers they're flyers I'm sorry. Uh, he says that there's going to be a sparkler show, and there's like a, a crude drawn diagram of a woman holding sparklers in her butthole. We don't have a fireworks show. Okay, so what is false advertising? What's going on here? <laughs> Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Uh, hello, this this is Mr. Asshole. I'm calling back. 
If you could give me a call back at this number, uh, uh, thank you. If not, uh, fuck you, asshole. Good night. Thank mm-hmm. you.